In between that jelly bean and rust comes on. Yes, I'm killing time. But I'm gonna stop right about now. Killing time. Rust is not the same as I can do. <laughs> Elapsed time <laughs> ten seconds. Bravo, sir. <sighs> to think of the humble place we started. <laughs> to think we managed to breed this many hecklers in one room without anything going horrifyingly wrong. Oh, thank you for that vote of confidence. Good heavens, welcome one and all to the strangest thing that ever grew out of a juggling club. This is a true story. Newcomers, you should listen up. Everybody invariably asks me, where, where did this thing come from? How did this happen? They never say, where did this come from? They always say, how did this happen? And they're looking around like this. How did this happen? Um, we were a juggling club. True story. We still are, but we started out with a dozen people in the park in 40-degree weather. Thank you, monkey. Being chased by a bear. Who could juggle? <laughs> well played, sir. I stumbled on this group, and I was immediately struck. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I was, I was immediately struck. And, I will, and if you ask me nicely later, I might tell you the literal version of that truth. But in the meantime, I was struck by one thought as I looked out over this, this field of, like I said, about a dozen by this point, maybe about 15 people juggling, playing, giggling, laughing, walking on stilts, doing all of these amazing things. And I remember thinking to myself, damn, I want to be a part of that world. Sure enough, a moment later I was, which is the entrance to that other story I'll tell you later. But it changed my life. That was five years ago, coming this Saturday. The little group that has grown so big, it got 10 times bigger than that, and then 10 times bigger than that, Creative Motion, is now internationally recognized as a circus arts organization. It has members all over the world now. And we are building new events, new ideas, new things. We now have two events, well, three events a week. If you count open stage uh, every Monday, Tuesday, we have Cirque Out, Thursday, we have Clown Gym. And if that isn't enough, once a month, the event that started it all, Spin Fest. Spin Fest is a once a month, officially a once a month circus social in the park. It's the word park I'd like to talk about for a moment. A park is a big public commons, and it's fantastic because you can go out there, and if nobody gets mad, you can throw an event with way too many people juggling and doing dangerous things near the local Cub Scouts. And this goes well. It went for three years like this. N we have never had an incident beyond a blister because everyone is so emotionally invested in that event running smoothly. The team of roustabouts, which are helpers and ground crew who do all of the work. And one of the ugly jobs that no one ever gets to hear about, Alicia and Amanda and Kasha go out there three hours before the event in hopes of stealing a pavilion and squatting on it for three hours. So when our event starts, a children's party hasn't taken over. It's a t they deserve a bigger round than that. Five years ago, I also decided to really start taking this madness seriously, and I transformed every inch of my life. That's why this is very important to me now. Newcomers, you got to realize, I do this crazy circus crap full time now. It's because of this community. I've worked for Cirque du Soleil. I've worked for Ringling Brothers, or auditioned for them. And how that's possible is this community taught me everything I know about being completely mental. 
Oh, and performance and juggling and all that other stuff too. Yeah, yeah, that stuff too. I have a present I would like to give Creative Motion, if I may, in honor of its fifth birthday. I was on the phone with a local property manager who is the marketing director of, and all of this is gonna be on a website in 24 hours, so just relax and just applaud and enjoy it. Eastside Richardson, which is this big shopping center that has a massive green space, and rather than us sneaking around a park with 100 people, just visualize them dressed as clowns, it's great. <laughs> rather than doing that, she has invited us to move Spinfest to her property as a sanctioned, official, ongoing event. I need something from you guys, from every last one of you. F for five years, I have just busted my butt to make this, you know, anything I could put in to help these things grow. One of the things about being in a park that always bugged me was Creative Motion's goal was the goal I had when I, when I walked up and I said I want to be a part of this world was to then turn around, join that world, and introduce this world to other people so they could be a part of it. Just like this event does. Some of you have never been here before and you're already thinking, I want to be a part of this mental insanity forever. You are invited to. This coming Saturday is uh, the fifth anniversary of Creative Motion Spin Fest, the first event that started it all. I would love if you guys would come out to the event and be ambassadors of this community and show all of those people because we're going to be doing what we do and what we love to do in front of probably a thousand new faces. Let's, let's show them who we are. Will you guys do that with me?